prevalence of subclinical mastitis and its effects on reproductive performance in dairy cows during the postpartum period in Gaysabo District, Rwanda. This article is written by six authors. First author Jean Baptiste Wagirazu. Second author Vestin Mizane Iyer. Third author Lydia Murawa. Fourth author Muhammad Makdramliam Muij. Fifth author Jean Nepomucine Hakazamana. Last author Pascal Nyabinwa. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study is one of very few studies which have investigated the occurrence of subclinical mastitis and its effects on subsequent reproductive performance of zero-graze dairy cows under existing smallholder farming conditions. The study has also contributed to the existing literatures concerning mastitis infections in dairy cows. Mastitis is one of the most important diseases affecting production and reproductive efficiency of dairy cows. The objective of the study was to estimate the prevalence of subclinical mastitis, SCMA, and its effects on reproductive performance in postpartum dairy cows. In a cross-sectional survey, sample cows, N equals 200, within their 1040 days in milk from smallholder farms, N equals 159, were selected and tested for SCMA using California mastitis test. They were classified into two groups, cows with SCMA, SCMA group, N equals 101, and cows without SCMA, SCMA group, N equals 99. Reproductive performance including calving to first estrus interval, CFOI, calving to first service interval, CFSI, calving to conception interval, CCI, cows that remain non-pregnant, postpartum enoestrus and total number of services per conception were recorded for 150 days in milk. The overall prevalence of SCMA recorded was 50.5%. The mean number of days for CFOI was significantly longer, P0.05, in cows with SCMA, 87.6 plus minus 4.8 days, than in cows with SCMA, 72.5 plus minus 4.3 days. The mean days for CFSI was significantly longer, P0.05, in cows with SCMA, 97.2 plus minus 5.6 days, than in cows with SCMA, 78.9 plus minus 4.9 days. The difference between the CCI of the SCMA positive cows, 107.8 plus minus 7.4 days, and that of the negative ones. 62.5 plus minus 4.5 days, was statistically significant, p0.001. Cows with SCMA required more breeding services, p0.05, to conceive, 1.9 plus minus 0.1 services, than cows with SCMA, 1.2 plus minus 0.1 services. Results indicate that SCMA had significant negative effect on fertility performance. Therefore, improving management interventions to prevent and control SCMA is essential for reducing its adverse effects in dairy cows. Thanks for watching this video of International Journal of Veterinary Sciences Research Volume 6 Issue Number 1.